Welcome back everyone. In this video, let's take a look at the third sorting algorithm, which is quick sort. The problem statement remains the same. Given an array of integers, sort the array. Sorting can either be ascending or descending. For example, if we have an array of five integers, minus six, 20, eight, minus two, and four, passing the array into a quick sort function should return the same array in ascending order. Let's first understand the idea behind quick sort. You begin by identifying the pivot element in the array. Now how do you decide what is the pivot element? Well, you have plenty of options to choose from. You can either pick the first element in the array, the last element in the array, a random element in the array, or the median. For our solution, we will be picking the last element in the array as the pivot element. Now what role does the pivot play? Well, you traverse the array from the first element to the last but one element and you put everything that's smaller than the pivot element into a left array and everything that's greater than the pivot element into a right array. You repeat the process for the individual left and right arrays till you have an array of length one. An array of length one is sorted by definition. When you reach that base condition, you simply concatenate the left array, pivot and right array in that same order. You continue till you're left with one array, which would be the sorted array. Let me help you visualize with an example. Consider the same array. Minus 6, 20, 8, minus 2 and 4. First, identify the pivot which is the last element in the array. Now, the remaining elements are split into a left array and a right array. The left array contains elements less than the pivot. So minus six and minus two. The right array contains elements greater than the pivot. So eight and 20. Next, you repeat the same partition for the left and right sub arrays. For the left array, pivot is the last element, which is minus two. The left array will contain smaller elements, which is minus six. The right array will be empty as no elements are larger than the pivot. Similarly, on the right subarray, the pivot is the last element 20. The left array will now contain 8 as it is smaller than 20 and the right array will be empty. Now, if the arrays contain only one element, we have reached the base condition. You now start concatenating the arrays at each level. Minus six, minus two, and empty array will produce minus six, comma, minus two. Similarly, eight and 20 and empty array will produce eight, comma, 20. We then move one level up where four is the pivot element. You once again merge left array, pivot, and right array. This will give the final sorted array. This is pretty much how the quick sort algorithm works. All right, if you've understood the algorithm, now is the time to pause and try implement the solution. If you would like to solve together, let's do so in the next video.